Hello everyone, welcome back to the MPLS site-to-site -site VPN failover demo. My name is Devin Adams. I am a Fortinet instructor with Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultants here in Tempe. And I record these videos just for uh, my students so they can see the demos in class maybe a, uh, a little bit longer than just one time. Anyways, I probably don't have to reintroduce myself like that all the time. I'm not a YouTuber, guys. I'm not used to this anyways um for the two people that might watch this anyways anyways i realize that i have a single fortigate and that single fortigate has a or not single fortigate but i have a single connection to the internet with my site two fortigates and i thought to myself you know what i can show a single link health check right so you can just kind of have a place to go to see the quality of your internet service providers connection um, I, I mentioned how I might set that up um, in, a, in a different video I can do this here so we're gonna consider this a three point or or maybe 2.5 video right to tuck it in right in between here and I'm just gonna do that real quickly for you guys so because I think it has a lot of value so um, <clears throat> here we go in the last video I, I just got done recording the redundant VPN tunnels but real quickly uh, if we go to our WAN link monitor all we have is the one for the MPLS network right wouldn't it be nice if we could actually see our connection to our our internet service provider now in theory I could actually and this is the preferable way is to create a WAN link load balance uh, interface even with a single internet service provider connection and the reason why is it gives you the flexibility later on to add circuits in there and uh, and not having to pluck everything out of the um, out of the uh, firewall that's referencing um, any kind of WAN connection um, that might mess it up so that would probably be the best way but you know what that's not an option for all of us because maybe we're too in, uh, invested right with our WAN connections that are already there or maybe it's just a branch office and you just want something really basic um, but let's do it let's go ahead and set up that connection here so uh, just once again I'll try to keep this really short I know I talk way too much guys but uh, essentially this poor little FortiGate here has no kind of uh, health check right out its gateway um, so we're just gonna pick we're just gonna pick something out here on the internet we'll use Google's DNS again right and uh, yeah then we can keep an eye out on jitter latency uh, going through our internet service provider so um, once again if you're not using the software defined WAN the SD WAN or the WAN link load balancer what they call them 54 you have to go through the CLI Right? And I'm actually winging this completely, so I don't I don't sit around and memorize syntax here for CLI commands. But uh, we'll just do a uh, config sys right link monitor and do a show. That was the one that we originally created, but this time I'm going to edit to create a new one, and I'll just call it WAN health check. All right. So using a little camel casing there. So. And now I can go ahead and set source interface to, oh, look at all those tunnels. Port one, all right. Set the gateway IP to 10.200.3.254. So that's going to be the next hop <coughs> to the internet service provider, OK? All right. And then set the server to 8.8.8.8 .8 now in theory that should be it that's all we should need all right so I'll do an end to commit here okay and uh, let's go ahead and take a look on what happened in the GUI if anything happened right so here we go um, so now we can go to our monitor and we can go to our wink load load balancer and we should now have two and there it is guys right so this way if people start complaining my internet's slow or you know the network's slow maybe you have some congestion problems so this way you can at least keep an eye out on packet loss latency jitter right on your internet service provider so even if you have a single connection this is also a good place to keep an eye out on your number of sessions and your total bandwidth too uh, but just remember you always have the um uh, what you call it the the 40 view there to do that also all right what makes this special is is really the quality of the link 
which is this right here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little that little bonus. When we get back, we will do the uh, routing adjustments. Yep, I want to close you. We'll do the configuring the routing and testing to see if we can't get our MPLS network to converge automatically through a VPN tunnel and vice versa. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in just a moment.